In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on October 31st, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Sacramento Kings vs. Charlotte Hornets The Sacramento Kings will try to build on their first win of the season when they face the Charlotte Hornets on Monday night. Sacramento lost four straight games to open its campaign before picking up a win over Miami on Saturday. Charlotte is coming off a strong performance of its own, beating Golden State in overtime over the weekend. The Hornets are 1-4 against the spread in their last five Monday games and 7-2 against the spread in their last nine games overall. The Kings are 8-2-1 against the spread in their last 11 road games and 3-7 against the spread in their last 10 Monday games. The under is 5-2 in Kings' last 7 overall. The over is 4-1-1 in Hornets' last 6 overall. The Kings are 0-4 against the spread in the last 4 meetings in Charlotte and 1-6 against the spread in the last 7 meetings. The Kings got their first win of the season the other night, beating Miami. That game was at home and now they have to fly across country to take on Charlotte for their first game of the season against a team from the Eastern Conference. Lead guard Darren Fox has been sizzling so far this season, scoring close to 28 points per game. The key is that he has been making his outside shots. When that is the case, he can be among the hardest players to contain in the league. Though his success has not led to more winning, Charlotte is 3-3 on the season. They have been amazingly inconsistent, losing to Orlando to give the Magic their first win of the season, and then beating the Golden State Warriors at home. The one thing that has been fairly steady is the balance they are getting in scoring. Injuries to Lamelo Ball and then Terry Rozier have have forced them to rely on players that would not normally get as much run. This game has an interesting number. The Charlotte Hornets are still banged up with their injured backcourt, but they're still finding ways to win games and their offense is still producing. This line doesn't make sense to me, as the Kings simply aren't a good team, and it's weird seeing them in the road favorite role if we're being honest. This one is probably going to be won by whatever team can actually string together a few stops and backing the home team with the Kings traveling across country seems to make the most sense. Charlotte definitely looks looks like a buying opportunity at home against a Sacramento team that has just one win this season. So the Charlotte Hornets money line is our full game side pick. Through the first five games of the year, the Hornets are averaging 118 points per game good for 7th in the league. They are shooting the 3 at a 38% clip and are playing inspired basketball without Lamelo Ball available. Third-year forward P.J. Washington has taken the bulk of the offensive load along with Kelly Albert Jr. and the Hornets are staying relevant until they get their full complement of players available. The Hornets have gone over the total in 4 of their last 6 games. They could be getting their leading scorer back after a 1-game absence, which would boost their numbers even more. Sacramento has not been a strong defensive team early in the year, so it is difficult to envision the Kings slowing down the Hornets on Monday. Both teams can put up a ton of points, and the Kings are sixth in pace of play entering this matchup. It serves both clubs well to push the tempo, hiding both of their defensive issues by shooting the basketball with 21 seconds remaining on the clock. Sacramento is averaging 113 points per game, but expect that to gradually tick up as the season progresses. The Kings have cashed the over in five of their last seven road games, and these teams have gone over in five of their last six head-to-head head meetings. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Philadelphia 76ers vs. Washington Wizards This Monday, the Philadelphia 76ers will travel to Washington, D.C. to take on the Washington Wizards. Tip-off will be inside the Capital One Arena. Both of these teams are looking to heat up, as they both have their eyes on the playoffs. There's a long way to go, but they will still want to start fast in this one. The Philadelphia 76ers are coming into this one after taking down the Chicago Bulls, 114-109. The Sixers look great on the offensive end of the court, as 
they shot 49.4% from the floor. They will have to stay hot from the floor if they want to challenge the Wizards on the road. The Washington Wizards are entering this game after losing to the Indiana Pacers, 127-117. to The Wizards struggled on the defensive end of the court as they fell behind early. They will have to make more stops on the defensive end of the court if they want to protect their home court in this one. The 76ers are 5-14-1 to to against the spread in their last 20 road games and 2-5 to against the spread in their last 7 games playing on one day's rest. The Wizards are 34-15-2 against the spread in their last 51 games playing on zero days rest and 2-5-1 against the spread in their last eight games overall. The under is 6-1 in 76ers' last seven games playing on one day's rest. The under is 6-2 in Wizards' last eight overall. This season, the 76ers have not been as impressive. They are now down 3-4 as they have continued to struggle on defense. The 76ers have the NBA's 19th best adjusted defensive rating. They also allow their opponents to shoot 46.4% from the field, which ranks 14th in the league. The Wizards the Wizards are currently shooting better than anyone in the league, with the highest field goal percentage. Throughout the game, they will continue to shoot well and make open shots. Bradley Beal will look to attack, and the Sixers will be unable to stop him. Washington has also been playing well defensively, as they have the league's sixth lowest adjusted defensive rating. They will make it difficult for the Sixers' star players to keep this score within the spread of four points. Philadelphia is only scoring the 25th most points per game and hasn't been particularly effective offensively. They will continue to struggle on both ends of the court as the Wizards give them a run for their money in this one. The Philadelphia 76ers are the better team on paper and have the rest advantage with the Wizards on the end of a back-to-back. -back. However, the 76ers continue to have issues defensively and aren't a team I'm thrilled to back in the road favorite role. The Washington Wizards are also playing solid ball through six games, and their defensive effort has drastically improved from a year ago. A comfortable 76ers win wouldn't surprise me, but I'm still grabbing the points with the Wizards. Philadelphia Philadelphia's struggles have continued, and they aren't performing well enough on either end of the floor for me to back them in this one. So the Washington Wizards to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The 76ers rank 25th in the NBA in terms of points per game and have the slowest adjusted pace rating. They take their time bringing the ball up the court and use the majority of the shot clock when coming down the court. The Wizards also have the league's sixth best adjusted defensive rating, and they will continue to make life difficult for the 76ers on the offensive end. The Wizards are now shooting well, but they are also taking their time bringing the ball up the court. The Wizards have the league's 22nd slowest pace rating, indicating that they will not be rushing the ball up the court either. Each possession, they will walk up the court, looking for the best shot possible. Philadelphia is also allowing the fifth fewest points this season, as they have continued to limit their opponent's possessions in each game. I don't see either of these teams pushing the ball up the court, making them two of the NBA's slowest teams. Both of these teams have also been more effective on defense. The Wizards will make it difficult for the Sixers to score, and the Sixers will do the same for them. Neither of these teams will have enough possessions to push the score past the set total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Indiana Pacers vs. Brooklyn Nets Indiana will try to build on its two-game winning streak and pick up another win over Brooklyn when the teams meet on Monday night. The Pacers beat Washington on Friday night before adding a win over Brooklyn on Saturday. The Nets are now riding a four-game losing streak and have dropped five of their six games this season. The Pacers are 5-2 against the spread in their last seven road games and 1-4-1 to to against the spread in their last six Monday games. The Nets are 14-36-1 against the spread in their last 51 home games and 0-4 against the spread in their last four games overall. The over is 11-3 in Pacers last 14 overall. The over is 5-2 in Nets last seven overall. The Pacers are 19-7 against the spread in the last 26 meetings in Brooklyn and 4-0 against the spread in the last four meetings. The Brooklyn Nets are struggling out of the gates and with this whole Kyrie Irving drama about his tweet, things are looking like rock bottom. However, the Indiana Pacers also were not a good team, but had their threes hitting as they splashed 23 three-pointers on Friday. Signs are pointing up for the Nets as Ben Simmons had his best game as a member of the team as he finished with 9 points, 9 assists, and 8 rebounds. The Nets have the better roster and should be able to limit what happens in this game as they have a better bench as they outscored the Pacers 27-15. All in all, go with the Nets to split this two-game series with the Pacers. So the Brooklyn Nets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick.
Indiana is coming off one of the best shooting performances in team history. I do not expect the Pacers to duplicate that effort on Monday night, but I am also not expecting much from a Brooklyn defense that is giving up the most points of any team in the NBA. Looking at the adjusted defensive ratings, you would see why it is incredibly easy to give up points here as Indiana is 28th in the NBA with a 118.6 adjusted defensive rating while Brooklyn is 29th with a 119.3 adjusted defensive rating. They are also the two worst teams at defending the three-point point line this season as the Pacers allow 43.5% of them to fall while the Nets are giving up 43.8% of them. Brooklyn has gone over the total in 5 of its last 7 games, while Indiana has cashed the over in 11 of its last 14 games. Turner scored 27 points in his second game back from a 9-month absence, and he should be back on the court on Monday. The over has hit in 5 of their previous 6 games against one another, including on Friday. Additionally, these are two of the worst 3 teams in the league in defensive efficiency with the lead scoring options like Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Tyrese Halliburton, and Benedict Maturin, it is difficult to imagine anything but a high-scoring game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.